you may have an issue where you go to your projects, but you may not see any new projects available or you see a blank screen let me show you what might be the case so let's get started what you need to do is go up to edit preferences you want to go down to where it says folder locations and then you want to look at templates templates are project files so right now my project files is set to cakewalk projects and then my templates is set to cakewalk content cakewalk core project templates i would just go in here and try to check and make sure that this is set and if you're not sure where the project files are, you can do a search. Just click on your folder, your browser. And if I say this PC, then I can do a search for uh, Cakewalk. All right, so you can do a search there and then it might take a little while, but you can wait for it and see if you find what you're looking for. Uh, if you know specifically where it's saved at, then you can go straight to the folder and find it and bring it back up in Cakewalk and make sure that you save it there. So like if I wanted to change my project files, I can click here and then find exactly where that folder is. Very important that this is set the right way because it's really crazy if you're trying to get into a project or trying to create a project and you can't find out where anything is, especially with plugins too as well. So you just wanna make sure you have that stuff organized. Now, if for some reason you're like, okay, yeah, it's set to the right thing. I see, you know, C drive or wherever it's supposed to be, but it's still not working right. Uh, you can press new. So go to new and then there are some templates here. You might see an option for empty project, but maybe you don't see all the other templates. And if that's the case, then you can press okay that way uh, and see if that works. If you still have an issue with this, then I would suggest go ahead, try restarting the computer, see if that fixes the problem. If not, definitely uninstall Cakewalk and reinstall it or just go to reinstall it, activate it so that you have everything. And when you install it, make sure that you have everything checked. I can't say that enough. Sometimes the issues that you may be having is you're like, you know, you going through it real fast, but make sure you read over everything, make sure you have everything checked, all the options, all the plugins. Hopefully this video has helped you out. My name is Justin Norm. I'm here to help you all with your cakewalk journeys and to explore music production in your home studio. Now, if you have more questions, please leave a comment below. Let me know your question. Give this a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel grow and will help me be able to help more people in their home studios. If you still feel like you're having other troubles with Cakewalk, then definitely check out this next video that focuses on troubleshooting Cakewalk. All right. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.